I'm the disc golf guy. 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 And this is my video vlog. I'm the disc golf guy, and this is my video blog. It is day three, which is moving day here at the Memorial Championships, and we've got a super awesome leader card in store for you today. That includes Jared Roan, Nate Doss, Kayla Visca, and up-and-comer 17-year-old Drew Gibson. Let's check out the action. I'm Kayla Visca. I'm from Minnesota. This is the third round of the Memorial out here at Vista del Camino, and you're with the disc golf guy. Let's go. My name's Jerry Rowan. Hope you're enjoying it out here in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Drew. I'm 17, and you're watching the Memorial Championships. Hey, I'm Nate Doss. Welcome to the third round of the 2014 Memorial Championship. You've just watched Next Nate Doss tee Drew off. Gibson. Third to tee is Drew Gibson. And that was Drew Gibson teeing off third here today. And now on the tee, Kale LaVisca. Kale LaVisca going straight up the gut on the right hand side. It says he has hit a tree part way down the fairway. Let's do this. Kale LaVisca approaches to the basket within five feet. He'll be taking par here on hole one. Oh, and Nate Doss's birdie attempt from 60 feet is just a bit right. And Drew Gibson puts in for his birdie too. After throwing a very nice forehand here on his first drive, Nate Doss has five feet, maybe eight feet left at most. And I do apologize, I did miss Jared Roan's uh, initial drive here. As you can see though, here's the result. He is within two feet of the pin. Clearly a very good, he threw a forehand drive. So he's starting off just right today. Birdie for Jared Roan and Drew Gibson. Threes for Doss and LaVisca. And Jared Roan has thrown and finished left here on hole two. Drew Gibson comes up just a bit short and left as well. Nate Doss has turned his disc over and it hits off the fence. Kicks to the left, he's still at least 35, 40 feet away. Last to tee is Kale LaVisca. K. 
Kale going for the lower skip shot. Looking for it to get right up near the basket. Great shot by Kale LaVisca and the crowd loves it. Oh, and Doss's attempt from 38 feet is just a bit high and left. Jared Roan from 34 feet is just off the front of the basket. And Drew is just left from about 30 feet. Kale LaVisca with the last opportunity for a birdie here on hole two. And from 12 feet, Kale makes good and cards the only birdie here on hole two. Hole two measuring in at two, 369 feet. There is a little bit of a window here today that's in the player's face as they are teeing off from the first few holes here. We watch Doss tap in as will Drew and Jared. Three pars and a birdie from Kale LaVisca on hole two. Jared had that for um, about 45 feet for birdie. And catching on the high left side is Drew Gibson's 30 foot putt for birdie. And Kale puts in from 12 feet for birdie as well. Nate Doss, the last to putt. I should say the last to putt for birdie. Nate takes advantage, gets a birdie two. And Jared will card the only par here on hole three. Hill's drive is out and to the right, looking for a little skip. It does just that. Finishes about 20 feet left of the pin. And Nate Doss is wide right from 38 feet. Kale makes good from 15 to 18 feet or so. Easy birdie for Kale LaVisca. Jared Roan looks to be just a little bit closer than that. 12 to 14 feet. No problem for Jared. Drew with less than 10 feet here. And there you have it. You will have Jared, Kale, and Drew all with birdie twos. Nate Doss with a par three. This is hole four.
tail asking for it to get off of that tree as it goes up towards the elevated basket. And it looks like he's within 20 feet. Drew goes with a high hyzer and it sticks right up there near the elevated basket as well. Jared goes with a slightly lower line than the other two and gets caught up by the tree on the right hand side. Nate opts for the high hyzer as well. And he is also right up there near Kale. And Kale has come up just a bit short here. One of the signatures here at the Memorial Championships has been these elevated basket for the past few years. And Nate just gets it over the edge. It's just one way for these, uh, for the event to make a little bit more challenging on what it would be otherwise a relatively open hole. There's not a lot of elevation out here on the Vista del Camino course. So you have seen these elevated baskets on a few holes at the fountain, as well as out here at the XL layout here at Vista del Camino. A little additional challenge, we'll say, here at the Memorial Championships. We have Jared, Drew, and Nate all putting in for birdie and Kayla Visca with a par three. Drew goes with a straight on shot, which finishes out in the middle of the fairway on the left hand side. Very nice shot. Nate also going up the gut, so to speak. Placed himself nicely out into the center of the fairway, right where you need to be. Third on the tee is Kale LaVisca. And Kale just narrowly getting past that tree. He gets a very large skip. And he's out on the left. Jared released a little higher than he was probably hoping for. However, it looks like he'll be out there with the rest of them. Jared's shot comes in low and skips off to the left-hand side. Nate Doss is going up and to the right as well. And he has thrown a very nice looking shot. We'll see just how close he is when we get up there. Kayla Visca is going up and to the right and hoping for it just to sit down. It is carrying slightly left, but he gets the green flag and he is inbounds. Drew goes with a sky hyzer, which is nearly impossible to follow. And he checks up very nicely up near the pin. Great shot. And Jared from about 110 feet, just a bit right. Great approach. Nate Doss has 45 feet and it creeps in and over the cage. Nate Doss with an awesome birdie three here on hole six. 
Got to be happy about that before the long walk on over to seven. Drew's putt is up from 42 feet and just a bit low of the cage. He'll have to settle for a par. Kale from 36. Yeah. And he gets it to go in. Yeah. Patented Kale skip, jump, pop. Gets it in. Gives a little fist pump. <laughs> Nate giving him a, <laughs> a banter. Great putt by Kale Visca. Drew with some cleanup for his par. Jared will do the same. And there you have it. Birdies by Kale and Nate. Pars by Jared and Drew. And Nate is not ecstatic about his shot, which looks like it's come up a little bit left. Kale throws a shot, which also looks to be carrying a little more left than he was probably looking for. Drew shot is up and to the right and it does not come back in bounds. Very nice low line approach here by Jared. Gets a little skip. There we go. After throwing OB on his tee shot, Drew has just thrown his approach. Looking forward to get a little more left than that. And Nate Doss had gone far enough to the left to give him an opening here along this side of the fairway. Looks like he may not have thrown it as hard as he'd like to to get up to the basket. Jared has the Heiser approach playing for that skip. And he's done so nicely to within 20 feet. Kale with a beautiful drive throws his approach to within 20 feet of the basket. Looking for a birdie three here on hole number seven, which measures in at six. Drew has a birdie opportunity here from just about the 33 foot circle. He puts it up and perfect putt by Drew Gibson for birdie three. I apologize, no, that is a bogey actually. Nate Doss is left with 18 feet for his birdie. And he makes good. Kiel LaVisca may be just a step inside that. 16, 17, 18 feet. Either way, I expect him to convert. And he has done so. And from nearly the exact same distance as well, we have Jared for birdie. That leaves us with Jared, Nate, and Kale, all with birdie threes. And Drew with the penalty will take a par, which is four. Nate Doss is on the tee and Looks like he needs a little more turnover there. That's going to finish wide to the left. Still within the 33 foot circle. Also birdieing hole seven was Kale LaVisca.
Kale's tee shot is coming in very hot. Needs to sit down. Oh, and it has just gone OB by a few feet. Jared, also birdieing hole seven, is now third on the tee. And Jared opts for the wide hyzer, which is coming in nicely. And he's left with 30 feet. Drew looks like he may be setting up for the wide hyzer as well, with his stance on the tee. And he does just that. And gets a nice back spin there. Looks like he's landed within 12 feet of the pin. Dale's pot is just off the front of the rim. And he does from 35. Jared's birdie attempt. Good from 22 feet. Fully expect Drew to make this as well. Drew within 10 to 12 feet of the pin. And Drew makes good on his birdie opportunity as well. We've got Jared and Drew with birdie twos. Nate Doss will be taking a par three. And Kayla Visca with his out of bounds stroke will be taking a four with a penalty. There you have it, we're on hole eight. Third round coverage of the 2014 Memorial Championships presented by Discraft. He wants to be in it too. Oh, he's got Jared Roan goes with a big hyzer here on hole nine. He's gonna need for that to sit down. And it just barely trickles in over to the water on the left-hand side. And Drew is definitely going for the green here on hole nine. That's a monster shot. Puts himself up there on the green. Very nice shot by Drew. And Nate goes high wide hyzer as well, which is a safer shot out here. And that will work. And Kale also goes with the monster hyzer out and around. It's a safer shot for these players that aren't looking to attack the green. Just playing this hole for a three. And Nate Doss is perfectly approached within five feet here on hole nine. Kale has about 150 feet to the pin. Looks like a perfectly placed shot just a few feet deep. Should be no problem for a par. This is Jared Roan after going out of bounds into the lake on the left. And he has laid it up. Unfortunately, it looks like he hung it a little wider than he was hoping for. Drew's putt is up Got it. and good nice. for birdie here. He likes it as do his card mates, Nate and Kale. We're cheering it on. Great birdie by Drew Gibson.
Jared's putt is up and in for bogey four after his penalty stroke. Kale makes good for par, as will Nate Doss. Let's check in with these guys and see what's going on. All right, guys, the fans always want to know what you're throwing, so I just made up a game, and we're going to do it on the spot while we wait here on hole 10. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Fastest to answer. What'd you throw on hole one? M4. <laughs> Nate? Yeah, right off a tree. Uh, force. Hole two. Predator. D1. Three. Predator. <laughs> D1. Four. Predator. <laughs> D1 every hole. All right, how about hole five? Predator. Kale? D1 every hole. D1 every hole. Like All right, well, I mean. To the force. Okay. Six? Now that was a nuke for me. Heiser. D1. Seven? Horse. D1. <laughs> Eight? M4 straight out of bounds. Yeah, buzz. I hate this game. And nine. <laughs> Why are you bring up old stuff? <laughs> All right, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks right. for playing. That's what Let's that's back nine. that's that's what they say. Uh, what the pros throw. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> hey, it's Nate Doss. Hope you enjoyed the front nine. Let's hit the back nine.